Hello, everyone. Welcome to VFX Grace. First of all, thank you for your support. Today, I'm going to show you the instructions of hair clump. Hope this video will be helpful to you. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. I'll take a drum diary as an example. Open the project. Let's install the add on first. It's a zip file, very easy to handle. Click on the preferences, then add ons. And then install. Locate the add on, double click it. Now we can see the add on hair clump. Let's enable it. OK, it's done. There are several layers of hair I made in advance. We open one layer first, zoom in a bit. The UI of the add on is under the children tab. Let's unfold it. Our add on supports both simple and interpolated types. But the virtual parents is not available in the simple mode. It only works under the interpolated mode. All the other functions are the same. Here I'll show you how to use the add-on mainly based on the interpolated mode. Here it is. Hair clump random. We check it and unfold it. Basically there are three parts. The first one is the virtual parent setting and the random length of the clumps. Next one is the hair clump random. The last one is the hair clump kink. First of all, we take up the clump. The default style is like this. We enter particle edit mode to take a look at the guys. Due to the dense guys, the clumps are also dense. In Blender, the size of the clumps is decided by the number of hair guys. The more the guys, the smaller the clumps. If the guys are sparse, the clumps will be larger. As for the added guys, we cannot change the number of guys anymore since the parameters here are disabled. So if we want a flexible control over the size of the clumps, we have to do it through the virtual parents. Check use virtual parents to enable it. By default, the virtual parents is zero, which means it is not yet applied. We raise it to see how the hair goes. We can see as it increases, the total parents also becomes larger. At the same time, the clumps become smaller. Here I set it to 0.3 for now. And we can also modify the parent seed to get a satisfying form. Keep it 148 for now. Through the hair silhouette, we can see the length of the clumps is fairly uniform now. With our add-on, we can adjust the length of the clumps. There is a length random here. Slide it. Through the silhouette, we can see the length of the clumps is changing. Likewise, we can set the length random seed to achieve an expected style. Till now, we have applied the virtual parents random and the length random of the clumps. Let's move on to adjust the shape of the clumps. There are two parameters under clumping. One is clump, the other is shape. In our add-on, not only these two parameters are available, but also there are more possibilities on clumping control. We reduce the clump a bit, then slide the clump factor range. We can see the clumps are changing, but not very noticeable. When we reduce the clump a bit more and slide the range again, the changes become more obvious. All right, we set these two parameters to proper values. Then we move on to the clump factor random. Let's slide it and take a look. Here I set it to a slightly bigger value and change the random seed to get an intended random effect. Besides, we can also modify the shape. Down the shape to tighten the clumps a bit. Similarly, we can change the clump random to a style that we want, either tighten the clumps or loosen the clumps. The random seed works as well. Besides, there is also an overall seed. Here it is, the clump random seed. With it, we can modify all the seeds below. 
Actually, we can also control clump shape through the clump curve. Enable use clump curve. We make a style first. Pull the control point down. But we can see it turns out that the clumps almost keep as they are. This is because we have already enabled the clump random and the random seed. Reset them first. Now we can vary the style through the clump curve. For instance, we make a style like this or like this. After that, we can adjust the clump random as well. And then slide the seed to vary the style. It's not very noticeable now. Let's bring the clump random up and then slide the random seed. Now it comes out more obviously. We still take the random seed down a little bit as well as the clump random. Actually, I want some tight clumps. I'll adjust the range and the random seed slightly to add some random. So we can also get a nice style through the curve. We get back to parameter control. All right, let's continue to adjust the kink. Now the clumps look a bit too straight. We can work on it to bring more variation. Come over to hair clump kink. Let's just simply pick out one type since the parameters are the same in each type. By default, the effect is too strong. We set the amplitude to a small value, for example, 0 0.02. Now it is kinked. But we can see it's very uniform. By the way, the segments of hair still depend on the strand steps built in Blender. It is 4 now. Raise it slightly to smooth the hair a bit more. I think the curl effect is still a bit strong now. Let's reduce the amplitude again. One more time. Good. Now we get a slight kink effect, but it's quite uniform. Zoom out a bit and take a look. Both the style and the direction are uniform, lacking some random. Here, our add-on can take care of this issue to randomize the kink. We take it down a bit, for example, 0.1. We can see the style becomes pretty random with kinks in different directions. But it's still too strong now, let's reduce it a bit more. Once again, 0.01. Well, you can see some parts of roots intersect with the surface. That's because the kink random works on the whole hair. Here we can weaken the control of the root kink through the parameter here. When I bring it up, the roots stand up. A small value is fine. Till now, we've got a pretty good random kink. Let's make a comparison. Turn it off. Turn it on. All right, let's go ahead. Jump to the random size. It can be adjusted as needed. But the smaller the size, the more segments the hair will need. Here, I need a larger kink. So just give it a larger size. Let's set it to 0.8. Okay, it looks good overall. Let's see how it is if we tweak it smaller. It comes out like this. The kink size is pretty small, which will need more segments. Let's set it back to 0.85. Next, I want to randomize the direction of the clumps. Here, we use the direction seed to achieve a more random style. Besides, there is also a kink random seed. Vary it to get a satisfying style. Next, I'd like to give the style a bit of flatness. Set it to a slightly bigger value to make the clumps tighter a bit. Then enlarge the flatness range. After that, we adjust the kink flatness random to vary the flatness. Similarly, we can also apply the flatness C to change the style. In addition, there is an overall random seed, which can randomize all the seed parameters below. 
If we enable you same seed, all the seeds below change at the same time. Toggle it on. The seeds below all become 51. When I alter it, they change accordingly. Toggle it off. We can control them separately again. Let's raise the display amount a bit and see how it is. Well, the random effect is a little bit strong. We tweak it slightly. Set the random size to 0.9 and the kink random to 5 thousandths. Okay, now it looks good. Alright, so much for the hair effect of the hump. Let's go on with another layer of hair. Currently, this layer of hair lacks randomness. I'll use it to show you how the noise random works. After enabling clump noise, we reduce the noise size a bit as it's too large by default. Next, we set the noise range to a small value, let's say 0.1. Then the noise random. Set it to a negative value, negative 0.1. And then the noise seed. Okay, now we can get an expected shape that we need. Besides, we can also add some random kinks to the hair. Select one kink type. As said before, it's pretty large by default. Reduce the amplitude. Again, let's say 5 thousandths. Then we can tweak the amplitude range as well as the amplitude random. Drag the slider to see how it goes. We set it to a smaller value, for example, negative 0.01. And then we modify the amplitude seed. Now the amplitude becomes more random, which is not uniform anymore. Okay, now it looks better than before. Let's go on. Then we modify some other parameters. Here, I'd like to make the shape a bit random. Before that, we change the shape to make it work on the tips. Then change the range. And then we modify the shape random and the seed to get an intended style. Come over to the range seed. It controls the seeds of all the ranges below. If we set the ranges below to zero and then change the range seed again, it doesn't work anymore. Well, the add-on works pretty much the same in the simple mode. Let me demonstrate it with this layer of hair. The simple mode in Blender is based on guys, so the virtual parents function is not available. But our add-on supports kink random as well. Here, I've already adjusted some parameters. And then we can slide the random seed and the other parameters above to get a perfect style. The other parameters are the same as those in the interpolated mode. All right, let's see the effect we made just now through a hair clump. The direction, the curl, the length, and the size of clumps are all rather random, which makes the hair more natural and more realistic. Okay, that's all for the instruction of the add-on. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy it. If you're interested in Aurelo, be sure to try it out. Bye!